ne zdovolj tvarni, malo besed z veliko težjo. My enthusiasm for anatomy started already in early childhood. I received a nearly deadly injury at my temple. I was rushed to the hospital and uh, I heard the doctor's whisper, probably he will die. And when I waked up again, I really, I experienced a new life. And the doctors was listening into my chest and they were uh, examining me. So I got the feeling this uh, youngster the body must be something very precious. It must be something very interesting. And ever since I wanted to become a medical doctor, I uh, sneaked into an autopsy with 17. I with 16, I dropped out of school to become a male nurse. Mm, my life always was already from the beginning on the anatomy track. Already as a youngster, I had a love affair with the Red Cross as a lifesaver. With Plastinates, with Body Worlds, I believe I changed the way we see ourselves. We die a double death. We die a death of our soul and we die a body death. My work has a double aim. On the one side, I like to increase health consciousness by comparing healthy and diseased organs like smoker's lung, normal lung, alcoholic liver, normal liver. On the other hand, I also want to, to bring forward the fact that we are mortals. The body is very st strong. We can really sustain a lot of pressure, uh, but only for a short time. But we also fragile nature, which we have to honor by living a healthy and a very careful life. My professional determination and the aims of the Br British Red Cross are actually going the same avenue. We both want to increase the health consciousness. We want to uh, give the people the chance to live healthier, to, uh, to understand more about their body. And uh, when it comes to emergency, to be able to react on the spot professionally. The British Red Cross makes a perfect job by talking to the people, by brochures, by leaflets, by lectures, uh, teaching the people how important a healthy life is. And I win the heart of our viewers by showing what was up to now only possible to see behind closed doors for the professionals. And this, what I call democratization anatomy, this uh, opens the heart of the people. Uh, they know what I show is authentic, and they are ready to join in. When I started up as a male nurse, I experienced quite a number of doctors which were unable to react in emergency properly. I didn't want this to happen to me, and therefore, after finishing medical school, for the first year I went to anesthesia and emergency medicine to be, to be really uh, at the scene capable. And in this way, it, it changed the way I look at emergency. I feel competent, whatever happens. My suggestion is, not only for the uh, lay people, but also for the doctors, start off your career with some months in emergency medicine. Most emergencies happen without the presence of a doctor. Therefore, it's so important that everybody, every citizen, should have basic capabilities to save life by knowing exactly what to do when an emergency happens, of course, at his level of knowledge. Thousands of lives in Great Britain could be saved in this way, and it's for, therefore for me a privilege to help the British Red Cross in his uh, efforts to uh, uh, professionalize the people in emergency medicine.